I can make the first direction, then when I make the second uh, one, auto drive arrow for destination, just has one. But there's an empty space for the second that I created. But there's no writing, hard to explain. Yeah, that is really weird. Does it look anything like this? Where you have this massive box, but you... Yes. Okay, scroll up. Try and scroll up and see if that actually works then. Um, that is... It's not a bug, it's a... Um, I don't know why, but it just starts like this, where you only have one thing up here. And if you scroll up, the rest of them should be there. I hope that's the case. I really hope that's the case. How do you delete auto drive courses, by the way? Um, so I only have two destinations though. The first one I created and the second one, but not really there. I'll check again. All right. But if I say if it's still an issue, um, get in touch with Baloo over on the, uh, the GitHub. Maybe he can tell you exactly what's going on there. Um, deleting a course. Oh, we probably want to go into this one, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, actually. If we take this one... Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. Uh, I can't answer that right now. I don't know. Oh shit. Maybe delete the, delete the point and create a new one. Yeah, if you delete the point and recalculate, the point will be deleted, that's for sure. Uh, maybe that's the way of doing it? While we're on auto drive, uh, are you having the bug where you where your camera won't move unless it's being moved by the mouse? I play with an Xbox controller at times, and 50% of the time, the camera won't move until I move the mouse. Oh, see, that's an issue because I never play without a mouse, so I don't know if there's an issue there. <laughs> I haven't played with a controller, so I can't actually verify that's an issue, seeing as every time I play, I play with a mouse. So not even that one I can help you with. <laughs> I get that problem now I have auto drive and cosplay. Really? I don't have that issue. Well, of course, since I'm playing with the mouse all the time, it's not really an issue. Uh, right, let's get rid of that one. Happens since I downloaded auto drive. You just need to move mouse first. Oh, really? I have to say, I've not really experienced that at all. Maybe, um, has it something to do with auto drive and cosplay sharing cursor now? So you can use the same cursor for cosplay as the one that you use for auto drive, but not vice versa. Maybe I need to update cosplay. <laughs> if you're using a very old version, it might be an idea. Uh, they do update it every now and again. I'm still using a version behind. All right. I have latest cosplay and it doesn't make a difference. All right. I can't really, I can't answer that one. I'm sorry. I would like to, but I can't. All right, how are we doing on the field? I thought about changing button config, but lazy. <laughs> I know the feeling. This is going well. Uh, they should be done in about 22 minutes, according to this one. Is he going to run out of fuel in 22 minutes? Ah, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine.
Vazza, seriously? <laughs> Thank you so much for those gift subs. Holy crap. That's amazing. I'm gonna have to come up with some emojis for you guys to use. Um, so you actually can can do something with the gift sub. Oh Data, did you see that there's now an auto load mod that you can just put in your folder? An auto load? What does that do? Well, automatic load stuff, but what kind of stuff? What, just everything? So you don't need a specific auto load trailer for picking up bales or pallets or something like that? I've not seen that, no, I haven't. Well, Faz, are you, uh, you're on my Discord, aren't you? I think you are. I think I've seen your name on there. Um, throw a link on the Discord if you are. And uh, and I'll take a look at it. That sounds interesting. I need to change the frequency of that. Help the chat on growing. <laughs> he should be fine. He's not going to run out of fuel, is he? He's, he's going to be fine. From my understanding, there's a script that you can copy and paste into mods that make them autoload. And then you have autoload mod on your folder and it actually works. Automatically works, wow. It is really ridiculous to have eight headlands. I know, yeah. I wasn't thinking about that. Mufasa, that sounds amazing actually. So there's a script you just copy and paste into your mod folder. No, into the mods. All right, okay, so you have to edit the mods to make it work. What's he doing? Oh, he's waiting for free passage. Five Nines new Pinnacle truck has it. It works well. That's interesting. That is interesting. It will make life a lot easier. There's no doubt about that. Oh, did you guys notice we changed hands by the way? Hans is has been Hans has been fired. I couldn't understand him. <laughs> so now we've got I think it's it might be Brian. I think it's Brian who's our um, our speaker now. Um, Brian. Brian is from the UK. I think I think he's from England and um, Emma, if you if you if you cheer with bits, 150 bits or above, you get Emma greeting you. So yeah, I've changed um, all of that loyalty stuff. And with that, I've changed uh, Hans as well. <laughs> I couldn't understand what Hans was saying. It's so difficult. I'm not saying German is difficult to understand, but German or English with a German accent can be very difficult to understand. We're done in 19 minutes on this field. That's amazing. That's amazable. Hashtag amazable. Okay, guys, links, link is in Discord. It's pretty cool, Mufasa. I'll have a look at it once the stream is done and see what, what it is. Um, I fear if it's something that you have to go in and mod or add things to a mod, uh, you will break the multiplayer um, function of the mod if you do it. Unless everyone else does it as well. But I'll definitely have a look at it and see what it's like and see what it's about. Maybe... Um, Maybe it's really good. Time to go. Happy streaming. Lee, thank you so much for hanging out. My friend, thank you so, so, so much. Um, I hope you have a great evening. I, I really do. And uh, hope to see you again soon. 
English with a Finnish accent is hard as well. I can imagine, video. <laughs> it's called easy auto load. All right. Are oh, there still possibilities that there is a cosplay field course where the driver drives circles on and on because he can't reach the next waypoint? I think they have. Uh, I think they have changed it. <laughs> it's Sue time. Have fun, Lee. Have fun, and I hope your Sue is doing really good. I can't wait to get into that game. Uh, Baltic, I think they did fix it. They have. Uh, they they've changed. They changed it so that uh, cosplay doesn't look for the first. They changed something, and it should be all right now. This is from the description. Easy auto load is now a standalone global mod. There's no need to include the script with a trailer truck mod uh, the mod simply needs to be enabled for the trailer truck to work all right so you just need the mod in the mod folder and it should be fine huh interesting that is interesting I'll, I'll have to have a look at it and see what it's like and how it works how's he doing over here it's just about running out oh okay uh, valid vehicle XML types are auto load trailer for a trailer and auto load truck for the truck both types include the tension belt specialization and have base attachable and base drivable uh, respectively as the parent vehicle type category I'll have to have a look at it if it is something where you have to change the mod itself uh, it will break the mod for multiplayer just saying not that um, not that that's an issue as such, it's just if you are playing multiplayer, um, be aware that changing something in the mod XML file will break the multiplayer. If you use it, of course. <laughs> Sounds like the mod needs to have an ultimate function, it, yeah. They will just need to use that version of the mod for multiplayer. Yeah, that's true, Rebellious, that's true. So if you change a mod, if you change anything on a mod and you want to play it for multiplayer, make sure that the guys that you want to multiplayer with uh, are using the same version of the mod that you have. So share your mod with them. Um, otherwise, multiplayer is not going to work. If it has that, then it'll run the script from mod folder. Sounds like it, Mufasa. It does sound like it. I mean, for, for new mods, for mods coming out, if they use that specialization in the mod XML, it'll work out of the, uh, out of the bag. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But for existing mods, you'll need to change a couple of things. There's, many, uh, there's a lot of mopeds in this area. <laughs> It'll be super nice to have one autoload script instead of the 4-5 that we have uh, floating around right now. That's true, yeah. Star, 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 exist in much using the easy autoload script. We'll need to be updated to remove the script and input binding. Uh, no need to edit the i3D of the map. Easy auto upload still looks for the same information as it did before. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. But if you, uh, if you change an XML file, you change the hash value of the, um, of the map. So you'll still break multiplayer. Wow, it's raining a lot outside. Holy shit. Don't know if you guys can hear it, actually. I got my door open. Um, it's pouring down. Is he going to be fine? Is he going to run out of fuel? I hope not. I really hope not. So one of the reasons this guy is slower than the other, as it seems, could be um, could be because he's he needs repairs. That could be an issue. Uh, yeah, no, I mean people will need to start starting using that script rather than the script people already use. That's true. Yeah. Not sure it will happen, as other auto script works on console. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. 
We'll see. It's a good idea. It's, it's a really good idea that you only have to... When you make a mod, a trailer or a truck, you only have to include a couple of specialized a, spe a couple of lines in the XML file, and it just works when you have that mod in the mod folder. That's a good idea. But you're right, rebellious console players will probably not have that um, that advantage. They, they probably won't work for them. Well, this is going fine. <laughs> like that we're just watching uh, course play doing his job here, but it's it's doing it okay. I mean, it's it's kind of okay. There's a, a bit of corner stuff going on there, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Oh, he's going to refill. Let's see what he does. So he will pass the fertilizer refill point that's the first one and then go to the seed refill point this is going to be interesting Let's see what happens there's an update to auto load trailer on mod hub today so you can use heston bales all right cool Seriously, could we um could we have a couple of hours without rain? That would be pretty nice. <laughs> There's not really a chance of any drought here anytime soon, that's for sure. Look at the trees, they're so beautiful in the spring. Love it. The nature is just beautiful in spring, it really is. It's just really something about it. Alright, so... I think he detected the trigger here. He did. Is he gonna refill? And if everything goes well, he should refill up here as well. Fuck yeah! Ha! Got it. A wizard season put a limitation uh, on when the ground reached a certain moisture point. You can see, yeah, that would be nice. But I also want dynamic ground mud for FS. So yeah. <laughs> no, the um, the ground is too wet. It's definitely possible for them to add in. That would be nice. Uh, would make things a little slow. Depending on your geo, yes. With the Danish geo, you would never. Never get seeding. And an English one as well, actually. So, are these guys gonna crash? Head on over to this guy, because he's about to run out as well. Well, I mean, it's a real thing that farmers come across, can't plant in a muddy field, that's true. They can't really do anything. No, it is an issue for them. It's pretty cool that this just works. But it should, I mean, we've done it a, a ton of time. Which is where the man dynamic ground comes in. It would be so nice with dynamic ground, wouldn't it? Only slight worry I have with dynamic ground is that they don't overdo it um, 
I'm not looking for a mud runner or spin tire mud runner situation here, but but mud on the ground would be nice. They do maze corn, etc. Now, and <laughs> which is funny, the most YouTube videos come. Oh yeah, with people getting stuck. Uh, have you guys seen that channel? I own a Ferguson. Uh, I didn't know until quite recently that it was a Danish guy, but holy shit, he has got some tracks and stuck in some mud uh, doing maze or silage from corn. Um, I tried to role play, role play the, the dynamic ground. Uh, if the tool says that ground is moisture about 35%, I don't do field work. Does, how much does it slow you down, Mufasa? Um, is it significant? so good it just works I love when this just works I love seeing when it just works it's so nice <laughs> what day seasons do you play on is it a 12 day season <laughs> play on nine day schedule uh, so it doesn't slow me down too much and if it's just raining a bunch I fast forward yeah I mean, it's, um, you can definitely do it that way. Definitely. Dole is saying the same for him. So, Dole, you're role-playing as well. Um, when, uh, when the ground is too, too wet, you're not going to go out doing your stuffs. Stuffs. I'm pretty pleased with how things are going here. How are we doing on the Aminaminaminaminals? They're so good. Uh, the cows are fine. We got 1,663 liters of milk. The pigs are breeding like they never knew how to do anything else. Wow. They are growing fast, aren't they? 20 kilos already. They were at 6 or 7 kilos before, weren't they? Uh, with this to you, fast forward until winter, yeah. Let's put it this way. Role playing at 35%, I've yet missing getting crops in. Uh, but it's been darn close. <laughs> You get that little extra tension in your day, don't you? <laughs> kind of like, oh shit, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we are. I was kind of like, holy shit. Six and seven kilos. One and two kilos. Oh my god. All right, here we go. 475 liters of wool for these guys. I think we're in for a good amount of money uh, this year. I think wool is going to be a significant income, and I think milk as well is going to be a significant income. I think we're going to be doing okay, honestly. Um, so I am considering getting a loan and buying another field, and if I were to buy another field, um, I'm thinking about uh, 53 maybe. So what's the price of that? That's 340,000. Uh, but it's a nice size of field and it's rather close to the farm anyway. Um, and I kind of want to get into this area down here as well. Um, maybe. We could get 35. Why not? 1.3 million. 271,000 for 34 and a little bit of forest as well. How about 15? That's 661,000. That's too expensive. I can't afford that. So I think 53 might be a, a good one to get. Um, let's see how it goes. 
Why don't you upgrade the fuels, by the way? Like, sell fuel 14 for something bigger next winter? Because I kind of like having fuel 14. Um, I know it's a very small field and it doesn't really do a lot for a, for a production, but still, it it gives that extra field that you can have an extra crop on. It might not be enough for the entire season, but it will help you along a little bit. So, for instance, if I want to experiment on having uh, soybeans, just for instance, I could use field 14 for that if I want to. I, I kind of like having that extra field. And I would hate to sell it off. Um, honestly, that's why. I, d I just really want to have it. So, 10 minutes left, and he's going to be fine here. You can knock out those three below field 14 and extend it really easily too. And you'll make about 150k from the trees. Yeah, that's true. I could do that. Um, so I could buy this forest here. That's 48,000. Actually, that is... That is a good idea. I seem to do same crops and same fields. Um, I'd like to have... I'd, I'd have like six fields, but only two different crops. Oh, really? Actually, it's not a bad idea buying this forest area down here and turn that into uh, arable ground and extend field 14 on that one. That could could be done. Could be done. We'll see. We're almost done with this one. So, once we're done here, we just need... We need the ground temperature to start rising so we can start planting corn. How are we doing on field 32, by the way? It's still growing. Um, I can't wait to get some alfalfa dry on that one. It's going to be nice. We'll give you some logging to do in winter. Yeah, I was thinking about that, actually. I was thinking about buying it. And instead of fast forwarding next winter, let's uh, let's cut that forest down and make it into a field. This part, uh, once you combine the forest area to field 14, course play recognize the whole field as one. Well. Oh yeah, that's yes. oh, once you combine the forest area to. Oh, it does. So you don't have to record the outer boundaries anymore. That's pretty nice. That is actually really nice. I thought you had to um, record the uh, the outer boundaries when you added something in. You, you had to do that in 17, if I remember right. Could be wrong about that, actually. It's the first thing I did on my ISO playthrough. It's a good idea. It is. It's normally after I allow create field for plowing. And then when you reload, works that way. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't forget the poplar. Yeah, I should have a field with poplar. So. I'm thinking field 28 is very small. And I'm not really sure what to do with it, honestly. We could buy it and plant poplar in there. It's not going to be this season though, it's going to be next year. But we could buy field 28 and throw some poplar into that one. Just because. Or maybe... Um... Oh, this is an expensive area because of the forest. The forest might be nice to have. So many choices. So many choices. Soon we'll have an army of small fields. At least we'll need to upgrade tractors, that's true. <laughs> that's very true. I think we're gonna have a decent amount of income, both from the cows and the wool, and um, 
that should help us buying some bigger fields because I want to get into bigger fields as well. I need bigger fields for supporting a thousand pigs <laughs> and a thousand sheep as well. <laughs> I'll need a lot bigger fields for that and a lot bigger equipment. So we'll have to go that way anyway. But the smaller fields are nice to have as well, just for variation, really. They're easy to see, they're easy to maintain and all of that. It's just nice to have them. They're all like 500, 600k. Uh, so why I would sell field 14 and buy field 15, etc. Yeah, I suppose you could do it. I like having the, the the extra field. Plus, I don't have to buy it again if I if I already own it. <laughs> it's my take on it, really. All right, they're almost done. One more lap. We didn't have to refuel the Jandir. That's nice. So could you imagine if I up the price, the ground price, from 20,000 per acre to 40,000? That would be a million for most of the fields. <laughs> Shit. That would be a horrible, horrible situation to be in. Twenty k per acre is a lot. You think so? Be like Raymond Port fields? Are they expensive, Raymond Port fields? I actually don't know that. Well, where I'm from, yeah, maybe not from where you're from. I don't know. I actually don't know um, what land prices are around here. Baltic Hall, not really, playing with 35 to 40k? Jesus. Someone asked me a while ago as well why the fields were so cheap. Same prices as this map, but a lot smaller. All right, gotcha. But yeah, it's not too long ago that someone asked me why the uh, fields were so cheap. I was like, they're not. No, that was an another one, but you, Baltic. Uh, you've asked it, that's true. But someone else asked me a while ago why they were so cheap. I don't think they're cheap. I, I mean, I think they're reasonable priced. Um, I don't want to make them cheaper, that's for sure. I mean, field number 30, 151,000. I think that's a reasonable price for this field. 32 is 240,000. 387. That's kind of nice. I was just doink, doink, doink. I don't know. A uh, few prices for where, where I live. Um, for excellent farm ground, it's around 10, 10k per acre. Wow. Well, I suppose, I suppose there is a lot of difference all around the world. I have no idea what prices are here. I honest to God have no idea. But like I said, I'm in the US, yeah. It it will vary, it, it, it definitely will. It could be interesting to see what the prices actually are around here. I'll have to look that up at some point. I mean, it's Denmark, so they're probably fucking expensive. Where I am, about 20k per acre. All right. US is a lot bigger than EU. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, that could be a... Actually, that's a good point. You have so much land in the US that maybe that's why it's, it's a lot cheaper. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I have absolutely nothing to support that claim. In 2009, Denmark was running about 25 to 26k per acre. Oh, wow. I'm not surprised that it's expensive in Denmark. Denmark is a small country, and um, farmers are 
I need of good ground, so it, it would be expensive here. I mean, we've been known f as a farming country for a long, long time, and it's just recently we've switched over to being an, an IT country instead of a farming country, really. Attorney, hey, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Develop land or land where housing, roads, and other structures are located was valued at estimated 106,000 per acre, while underdeveloped land was estimated at 6,500 whoops uh, per acre, and farmland at only 2,000 per acre. Jesus Christ. Here at 25 to 35k, depend on field and if farming or grass. Jesus. This, seriously, there's, there's nothing strange. Looking at those prices, right? There's nothing strange. Looking at the prices of um, machinery as well. There's nothing strange about farmers having to go into seriously debt to get uh, their farm going. I'm ready for bed. Thought I'd jump the stream quickly. Yes. Yeah, welcome, by the way. <laughs> we are actually almost done seeding. Um, we need one more field. Uh, but we need the ground to uh, to heat up. In California, Napa Valley, where all the wine yards are, it goes for 375k per acre. Whoa! So it really all depends. You're right. But I suppose Napa Valley, uh, a good wine district, right? That's going to be a limited amount of space they have for, for growing wine. I mean, once you go a little bit north or a little bit south or whatever, climate is going to change and the ground is not going to be uh, going to be um, suited so that pretty much does it right there uh, my phone did break today so I had to buy a new one. Oh shit which one did you get Tony? or do I dare ask that I might start a uh... let's just see this here All right, he's done. We need one more field and we're done with seeding for for this year. That is amazing. It's a lot better than I expected. Holy crap. Oh shit. So I had to test how Twitch works. How is Twitch working on uh, phone, on your new phone? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, well, a new report that I'm reading states that in 2015 the average price per acre in Denmark was 8k, that's not a lot is it? But that's everything, not just good, including bad farming area, yeah. And it's so difficult, how do you price a map like this one, how do you, how do you price it so it's realistic? when everything is individual like that one plus seven pro or something and the stream is working amazing that's good to hear that is good to hear. I, i've never tried the one plus by the way um i've seen it a couple of times and it, it looks like a decent phone i say decent because i don't know if it's actually good or not I, um, I need to upgrade my phone as well. I have a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. That's an old phone now. I bought it, um, that must be three years ago. All right, all right, all right. Got you, BGO, sorry. Uh, how cool would it be though if you could have rich farm ground that would produce higher yields in farming simulator? Yeah, and bad farm ground, like swamps and everything. 250k or something in the UK. <laughs> I'm not looking at land selling sites. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Why not? Uh, 
Oh. Slow down. Stop, 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 stop. Need to refill this one. It's nice to have all of this done. And, and just look at how much we have left in the silos. Um, we're almost done seeding. Pretty much done seeding. And we have... What? Um... 48,000 liters of seeds left. We are not going to run out of seed for a long time. That is nice. So Miller's plant was well worth the money and the effort. Oh, we should probably fill this one up as well. I have no idea how this will work. I had a Sony Xperia Set 5 before, about four and a half years old. <laughs> so sad. It did break. I really did like it. Yeah, you get, you get attached to those phones, don't you? That's basically why I still have my Samsung as well. I really like it. It's doing so good. It's doing so well. I mean, I don't have any issues with it. It gets really, really hard um, when um, when I'm watching, well, basically anything but text messages, <laughs> which is why I think I really need to start looking for another phone soon. I'm scared that it would break down. But I suppose the cooling paste on a phone will grow old like it does in a computer. So maybe that's why it gets so hot. All right, let's uh, go to that one and repair it. Yes. Right, he's good. I think I have an experience. 2x or something. Um, was that an old phone? I can't remember. I used to be really, really into phones when I was working as a IT supporter. I used to really, really, really care about what kind of phone you had. And for a long, long, long time, I was a uh, an Apple disciple. I mean, you couldn't buy anything but Apple in my mind. And then I had uh, then my uh, my job got me a. Uh, Samsung Galaxy, the uh, SX Edge, by the way, and um, I loved it. I just loved it so much. Is that was the problem with my Sony also? Otherwise, it was a good phone. It heated a lot. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon it will do. I mean, the thermal paste on the CPU will get old as it does on a computer as well and, and after it becomes old it just doesn't work that well and that's why it overheats so I, I reckon if you change the thermal paste on a phone like that it will work fine again right let's repair this puppy as well And the cedar is fine, we don't need to repair that. Well, we do need to be careful not crashing into it. It's only for the wind. I've not tried a Sony either. It's been Apple or Samsung for me. For the past many years now. Alright, um, what can we go ahead and do then? Let's have a look at the animals, because we can't really do much more on the fields. Um, let's look at fertilize, fertilizing. Why? That's odd. Do we have wheat? <sighs> We got weed! What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, we need to um, fertilize that again, I reckon. And we need to fertilize field 14. We need to spray all of our fields for weed. So this is a bit of an issue because I plan to use cosplay for that. So I'm going to be spraying the entire field, not just the patches. That's going to be expensive. I know that's going to be a lot more expensive, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I got a Sony just to be different years ago, as everyone was having an iPhone or Samsung. Yeah. 
Did you guys know that Samsung is still more popular than iPhone? At least if you look at sales. I didn't know that. I, I, I watched one of those videos where uh, on YouTube where they compare brands and uh, Nokia was the most popular phone for decades. And then, um, and then Samsung came along and Samsung to today are still selling more phones than, uh, than Apple. Why don't you do it mechanically? Well, I could, I suppose I could. 3310, that was a good phone. That was such a good phone. Same here, uh, Rebel. I had two Samsung before the Sony. All right. Right, um, I might go ahead and do it manually. I don't know. We'll, we'll look at it. We'll see it when we get to that point. But that means... There's another, another map question. Um, how difficult is it to put the planting plowing angles to match the direction you're going exactly on a map? So you're talking about the multi-angle terrain? Um, it's a little bit difficult. You need um, you need a, f a map from Farming Simulator 17 and you need the uh, editor for Farming Simulator 17. So the editor you have for Farming Simulator 19 is the uh, 8.01 I think and you need that one and you need the 7.01 editor as well. It is a little bit tricky. Uh, you need to go into the uh, i3d file and change some values in there. And then you need to have a, a brand new dem file made for the map. And that's where the FS17 editor comes into play because the FS19 editor just doesn't do that. So it is a little bit difficult. Damn, I'm so thirsty today. I haven't, I have eaten like <laughs> eight or nine sausages. Wow, really? Even worse for console? I suppose it is rebellious. I actually, I suppose it is. It's not an easy task. Um, but once you have it figured out, it's not too bad. So I originally started with adding, what was it? Uh, I think it was 64 angles, additional angles, besides the original four you have to this map, but that just caused a lot of lag, like a lot of lag. So on this map, we have 32 additional angles, and that looks pretty good. That actually looks really good. So I'm well pleased with that, but it was a bit of a task. It did take a little bit of fiddling around to get it just right, but now that it is there, I'm so happy that we have it. All right, um, I think we are gonna hook up this boy. All right, yeah, you had the forest demonstration today. Holy shit. I had a deal with my foreman. <laughs> one log, <laughs> one log. Uh, one load of logs equals one sausage. Wow, <laughs> you've just been spamming your mouth with sausages today. That sounds wrong in any way you could possibly imagine. Well, I suppose that's um, that's something to do, isn't it? <laughs> I made a tutorial for it. Uh, you'll find it at Mahu, but it's a German. BGO, did you have issues with uh, going above 32 angles and the map would start lag as well? That was my issues with it. It would start lagging a lot when you started um, harvesting. It looked pretty good. I mean, it looked pretty cool, but it would lag a lot. Right, uh, let's set up a course for this one. I know that we're not going to need, we don't have to uh, spray the headlands, but I don't really care. Course generation. Any, and let's just go for the symbol. I don't really need more than that. One headland should be fine. Let's generate this one. Oh. Five meters, come on. 
Come on, game. Get good, will you? That looks better. Right, um, let's set this one up. Let's have it use auto drive. So, auto drive. There we go. Auto drive. Load. We're going to go to field 29 north. And we're going to pick up from fertilizer refill. And we're going to get fertilizer. It was really nice picking a load. Um, and having a sausage break and talking to people on the repeat. And then repeat, yeah. The weather was good, so it came so it came a lot of people. That's nice. So it was a demonstration of new equipment, if I remember it correctly. It's pretty cool having those things. I like that. Sounds like you had a good day today, Tenny. That's really nice. Already tested with 18. I guess more will definitely depend on resource, especially VRAM. Um, 32 angles doesn't seem to, uh, to hurt this map. So most people can play this map with 32 angles, but I found going above 32 angles will um, will cause a lot of lag. But 32 seems to be fine. I, I don't see any significant difference in uh, resources when I'm below 32 or above or, or 32. All right, he should be fine here. What else can we do here? So I know the uh, the headlands is not an issue, but it doesn't matter. How are we doing on cows? Doing fine. We're doing fine. How many cows do we actually have? Have, uh, have we got any new cows? We probably haven't, because we're not really spent up time or anything. No, 58, that's fine. Pigs, however. Pigs seems to be spawning in like... Jesus. Well, yeah. <laughs> One and a half year old equipment, but it was a sawmill we worked for that had the demonstration. All oh, right, 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 right. Must have been interesting, really. It, it must. It, I mean, seriously, it must be an interesting job you have. It really was. A thousand and fifty-nine. It's ridiculous how fast these guys breed. It's just. Wow. Um, do we have any? Uh, they're not really worth anything, any of them. Oh, here we go. 400. We had a single 500 there. So we don't really have any that's worth selling at all. Ah, sorry. Eight channels. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. That's 128 angles, works fine for me. All right, cool. 128, that must look pretty good. So why are we getting spillage? Oh, we discussed that earlier. <laughs> well, there's not a lot we can do here. Other than just wait. How much wool do we have? Oh, speaking of that, let's have a look at the prices uh, for wool. We need to empty out the wool spawning area pretty soon. <laughs> so we've got 4,000 liters of wool in here right now. So actually we can have a 12,000 liters of wool. In the spawn area, in the wool spawning area. That's pretty nice. Um, what's this one? Uh, 
We should sell some wool. Do we, um, can we? So this one might be worth it, but do I have a mod that might be better for it? For loading the wool pellets? Well, I'll go to sleep now. Downloaded the newest version of Iosol today, so hopefully I get some time to play this weekend. By the way, have you guys seen that there's, there's coming a mod uh, of the new Case Magnum series? So pretty. Oh, wow, I haven't seen that. Um, but yeah, I do understand if you go if you have to go sleep now. Um, thank you so much for, for joining, my friend. Thank you. I genuinely appreciate that. I uh, hope you have a nice night of sleep here. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Maybe this one for the wool pellets. I mean, it's all we're going to use it for. I tested it on different map, Brook or Netherlands. Uh, the latest, I guess. All right. They made the Magnum look uh, like Optum Fent. Has same nose. Oh, nice. So it actually um, it doesn't look like a shitting dog anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rebellious. I can't help it. It's funny. Uh, this one could be a solution as well. The front is the same. Headlines are different. All right, okay. Um, what about this one? Can we do anything about this? Design trailer? Oh! Oh! I like this one. This is cool. I like that. What else can we do? Without grid? With grid? What the hell is a grid? Eh? Oh! It's on the back, isn't it? All right, there we go. Look at bale trailers. Oh, yeah, that might actually be an idea. So this one could be uh, a fun one, but we need a, a truck for that. Uh, but it could be an idea. Here we go. This is a much better one. Let's get this one. We can use this. Is, does this have a, an auto load? I don't think it does. Let's not get that one then. Some of them have auto load. This one has auto load for square bales. Uh, so if we get this one. Actually, let's go ahead and get this one. Auto load, yes. I know, I know, but I was thinking about we could use it for, for bales as well. So it might be an idea to have this one with auto load for, um, for bales, just in case, because we are gonna get a lot of bales. Right, so the communal tires is not costing us anything. The standard tires, however, is going to cost us 500. Red, white, black. Let's go for red. Design. And do we have the flegel? We do. I saw it. I just saw it. There we go. Flee, flee. No. There we go. Right. Let's get this one. 18,000. It'll be worth it. I'm going to use the biggest tractor we have to go get it, just because. 
is the one that's available. Now you just hope it can lower the sights. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. I think it can. We'll see. Let's head down to the dealer and get ourselves a new trailer. We might as well head straight for the um, for the sheep. Oh, I'm gonna need the Master Ferguson because I don't have a. Um... You know what? I just thought of something. Let's not use this tractor. Let's put this tractor on a. Uh... on a um, cedar and let's take the case because we've got going to feed the cows TMR yeah uh, we should be starting on that seeing as they have calves now so we should start actually giving them some TMR can maybe use the telehandler actually that's not a bad idea either so if we go in here and we go to telehandlers and we get the um, the pallet for Should be fine. Telly handler. Oh, it has a windscreen wiper on the top. I have never seen that before. Very cool. Seriously, can it stop raining? And we just spit down time a little bit because we need to get those damn wool bales or wool pallets why is it that every time we do these streams it rains for 75% of the stream it just rains and rains and rains So I've never been in a telehandler in real life actually. I've never tried that in real life. Been in a bobcat. Um, that's fun. A bobcat is so much fun. I love it. I've been in tractors and combine harvesters and trucks and everything, driven all of them, but never a telehandler. Must be pretty cool actually. Stood on the side while moving oh really <laughs> that sounds like, sounds like a dangerous thing to do but hey health and safety is not I should probably not be the preacher of that honestly I don't think I'm the right person to do that I like the view. Of the, you can actually see a lot from the inside of a telehandler. That's pretty nice. A bobcat is so much fun. I really, really, really had a lot of fun. So I was um, working out a, um, a calf stable and this bobcat was struggling so much because the manure was so heavy. It was so much fun. You could really, really, really slide it around a lot and have wheelies on the front and the back wheels. <laughs> so much fun. Not safe, though. Most farm didn't care about health and safety too much. That's true. Might do nowadays as workers get hurt, put claims in. I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. Probably right. And health and safety is definitely not something you should joke about but sometimes the work just needs to be done sometimes you just can't go around health and safety i can't do it having to um think about health and safety but you're right um it is dangerous
going up to clean out the sheep farm. It's what we do. Oh, would you look at that? It won't be long until we can cut that grass as well. We're going to have so much hay. So flipping much. And we're almost done in spring. Holy shit. It's late spring. We're on day five in late spring. Time is moving fast. Well, not right now because we're on time one, but still. We need to get that wool so we can get it sold and get some money. I'm about to have so much straw. I've got about 80 acres of weed planted. Oh, that's going to give you a lot of straw, yeah. It's going to be nice. I think. Uh, is it rye or triticale? I think it's triticale. I've, um, I've, uh, changed so it actually yields a little bit more straw, whereas weed will yield one straw. I think it's triticale I have it set at 1.3. Is there a max number of trees on the map? Um... Oh, gets you a lot. All right, yeah. Not that I know of, Baltic. Um, but needless to say, the more trees you have, um, the, the harder the map will be to play. And and I have an excessive amount of trees on this map. Um, <laughs> people are saying there's too many trees on the map. <laughs> I don't have the exact count on how many trees I have in this map, but there, there's a lot. There was one map, forgot the name, but the forest uh, was so dense that I lagged out my PC. Wow. I did see a forestry map, only forestry. Now, I suppose if you only have forestry, don't have any fields, it. it it's the same deal, I suppose. It's, it's it's when you start mixing it that you have to be careful. I don't know, but yeah, be careful. Right, so it doesn't appear that I can actually... Um, that I can actually lower the sides. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe if I go into operation position. Oh, will you look at that? Nice. The transport position. Nice. I knew that. <laughs> All along, I was never worried. First time using the auto loader uh, trailer pack, it's really good. Yeah, not really, uh, I think I've used it once before, I forgot about it. Right, we're just gonna park it here. There we go. Let's get some wool. Oh, this could be annoying as hell. Right, let's see if I can do this in a reasonable manner without crashing into everything. Oh, the concentration is real, guys. Holy shit. It's not too bad. Could have been worse. Oh shit, I just crashed into a barrel. <laughs> I wonder 
how many sheep uh, we need for this to be a pain in the ass. Having to clean out here. Oops. That's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. So do we want to keep, hold on to these, um, to this wall? Like keep the trailer up here and just unload onto that. I mean, until we have a full trailer and maybe not, I don't know. But I'm trying to ask, do we want to go sell this straight away? Evening, it's time to go to bed for me, Belton. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so, so, so much. And uh, I hope you have a nice night. I really do. I hope, um, I hope you have a nice night's sleep. And I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Um, I posted one that does pallets and Discord. All right. We'll need a truck or a dolly, though. All right, that's fine. I prefer a truck because I can't reverse with a fucking dolly. I'm just not that skilled in that. All right. Look at that. How much do we have in this one? 600 liters. Should we bring it? Should we bring it and just go sell everything? Let's do it. Let's go sell everything now. All of them. Let's see where we can get the best price for wool and let's go there. Uh, but we might want to go with the Fent because that's a faster tractor. Or maybe we want to go with this one in case we need to unload. Might not be the fastest unloading you've ever seen, but it's unloading. Cuff Cuff JCB. I know. I know. Would you? <laughs> no! God damn it. Let go! All or nothing, yeah, exactly. Exactly, BGO. It's all or nothing. All right, transport position and uh, seat belts, uh, not seat belt, tension belt. There we go. So who wants to pay me money? For all them, um, all them wool. Thirteen thirty-three, thirteen sixty-one, thirteen eighty-one, thirteen sixty-eight. But the supermarket is on the rise, so the garden center is where we want to go. Really, two things I'll never fuck around with in FS: uh, loading logs and loading pallets. Most frustrating things in the game. <laughs> it really can be. Oh shit. It really can be, you're so right, it can. Garden sender. Let's go to the garden sender and sell some wool. Just because we can. That's a sharp turn, it's gonna be fine. It's a good trailer. Why? Why would I want to sing that? Oh. 
almost killed the driver. So what would be the transport position for... Um, for these guys? Oh shit. Why can't I... Hello? I can't actually... Oh shit. Hang on a second. Oh! Got a sign. Um, I can't lower a race. There we go. No? The hell? Oh, right. There we go. So, would you want to drive like this? I suppose you would, really. Change the tractor? Yeah. I noticed that. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I was so scared we had another new error. I suppose you would want to drive like this, wouldn't you? In case you uh, had a crash, then at least you're not killing anyone. I don't know. I don't know. It's a game. What does it matter? We kill everyone if we can. If we can kill people, we will. Make sure the force in low if hit ground. Tractor won't go well. That's <laughs> true. What you mean like this? Whoa! <laughs> Shit. That was fun. Let's try that again. No, let's not. Um. <laughs> Do you guys see that? It doesn't work. It's bugged. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh, farming simulator. You are a fun game. That's kind of funny. Oh, no, it works. All right. <laughs> That's odd. So with the boom raised like that, we can't see anything going that way. I suppose it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're gonna get money. Actually, let's speed up time again since we're done loading those. So once we get back to the farm, we can actually sleep. And hopefully the ground temperature will start rising. So we can start seeding the corn. Funny in this game, DCB most known for telehandlers, but don't have one. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's very true. That's a bit odd. You would think that, like you say, the JCB company would would require the game to have a, uh, a telehandler. Weird. Some things are just weird, aren't they? This is going fine. Wow. Is it working up there? Yeah, we fixed the issue. Whatever it was. No, it's not it's not hundred percent good. <laughs> so weird. Look at the arm. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Kinda like the arm just oh fuck! The wiper is going, I need to follow it. <laughs> oh god. Game, you amuse me.
I'm not really checking traffic, by the way. So if anyone is there, I'm just driving up out in front of them, just because I can. So this is going to be interesting. Um, can we not sell the those two? Is this any better? Will Will you sell? No. Hello. No. What? Why won't you sell? Oh, reversing with one of these trailers is not my strong side. Uh, is this the autoload trailer? Yeah, it is, but it doesn't have any autoload function for uh, uh, for pallets. Alright, what if we um, manually take them off? This always happens? It does? Does anyone know why? Let's do it manually. If you've been a bitch about it. Odd, but hey, we've got the money. So it didn't bring us a million, but it's not bad money. It's not bad money at all. So do, do, does anyone know why that happens? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter really. Oh, we killed a sign. Yay! No idea. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? There we go, we won't kill anyone if we crash into a car now, I hope. Heading back to the farm. Actually, should we just um, set him to go like this and let's have a look at what is happening elsewhere? Was going for a refill. <laughs> I actually think he was just going for a refill, but I'm not sure why he went this way. All oh, right, because there's no turning around except you go this way. Okay, got it. All right. then I wonder how long he's been there <laughs> so weird um, was all on dinner break it does feel like it or maybe maybe they were watching something on YouTube inside the house who knows 
I've heard there's a good YouTube channel in the house. <laughs> thinking. Well, we don't actually have anything we need to do for a while. Uh, right. How far did he get? How is that looking on the What is going on? Why is he not fertilizing this? Am I wasting my money here? Uh, I don't know. It does look like I'm wasting money. Alright. <laughs> I was wasting money. So we'll wait for the next growth state before we actually start fertilizing this this field. I actually thought we could just fertilize it right now, but no. No such thing. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just go park this guy and we'll probably go sleep a little bit. Um, see if we can uh, get seeding on field 30. I'm so curious what is going to happen there. Oh, well, look at that. The telehandler is coming back just as we're approaching here. Come on. Come on, guy. Come on. Wow, he's taking his time, huh? Get back here. No. Oh boy, that's not that's not gonna work. Shit. <laughs> All right. Oh. Is he, is he going to make it? He's going to make it. <laughs> it looks like he's going to make it. Oh, he really has got it stuck there. Right, let's take over. Oh boy. It's stuck. There we go. We're free. All right. Now, I don't know how to reverse one though, so it can live here now until we need it again. Um, And let's go have a snooze. Oops. Here we go. Alright. Speed up time a little bit and let's go have a sleep. It's a nice trailer actually. I do like it. We are going to be using it for bales as well. Uh, I hope. 
Oh, Black Beast, the mods um, command might be a good idea. I'll keep that in mind and I'll set up a, um, a list of all the mods I use. And if you use that command, I suppose you will get the list of mods. I don't know. If it works, it works. If I can make it work, I will. Uh, what is the name of the map you're playing? It's Eye Assault. If you type in exclamation mark Eye Assault, uh, you will get a uh, direct link link for download. Four hours and 46 minutes. I think... Is it just me or has time just gone by really fast today? I think it has. But right, uh, what was the time? Nine o'clock. So if we sleep for 10 hours... We should be uh, up at seven o'clock. That's quick math for you right there. Math. Math. <laughs> right. <gasps> it's not raining anymore. But I think we'll go. Gotta aim for six hours? Actually, no. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> I think we're going to stop here, um, at least for today. Holy shit, what an amazing stream. That's been so much fun. Uh, we managed to get very far today. I'm actually really happy that we got um, three of the four fields seated. And I'm really happy that we got to, to where we are. So thank you all of you for, for, for joining in today. Thank you uh, a ton for... Uh, joining in in the chat and, and testing out a lot of stuff. Um, I hope you guys like the new the new uh, point loyalty point system, and and you can actually now see that the uh, the leaderboard is there um, and it works and so on. And I'll make sure that you guys um, can have something to spend those points on. Um, oh, hang on a second. I'll I'll do it. Um, There we go. Right, so I'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Farming Free Friday, and we'll probably be looking at um, probably be looking at Planet Sue, which is a new game that is out in beta, and I have a beta version of it. And hopefully, uh, that's something that you guys will like. Let's see. If it works, we'll be playing Planet Zoo tomorrow. If it doesn't work, it's a bit buggy in the season. Oh, sorry, in the beta version. Um, so if it works, we'll be playing that. If not, we'll be looking at something else. I don't know what yet, but we'll be back. Forever Farming Friday. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. Wow. Still raining in the forest, by the way. Still raining in the forest. It's also raining outside. Uh, Seneca has finished, I'll test it now. Oh, sounds good. BGR sounds good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining in today. Thank you for hanging out in the chat. Thank you for uh, for following, for, for subscribing. Thank you for all the gift donation with Fasm. My God. Honestly, that's... <laughs> That's a crazy amount of, of gift um, subscriptions. I, I I don't know what to say about that other than thank you. And um, I hope that we'll uh, we'll see each other again tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with some smooth jazz and uh, good night.